Let me, Mom. <laughs> Thank you, McGill. Mom, it's for your own good. I don't want to talk about it, Luis. But you can save money on the mortgage every month, money you can use for your retirement fund. I already told you, I will not take your father's name off the deed. It's the only way that you can refinance the mortgage. Have your husband declared dead or divorce him. No. Why in the world would you sacrifice your own security for a man who abandoned you and his family? Or is dead? He didn't abandon us. Papa would never do that. He loved us. I know he's alive. I know it in my heart. You can light all the candles you want, Mama. He's not coming home. Yes, he will. Stop it, Louise. Can't you see you're upsetting Mama? I'm sorry, Mama. I don't want to hurt you. I just want what's best for you. I know, Louise. I know you mean well. But your father, he was a good man. And I don't like to hear you speak ill of him. I still remember the last day I saw him. He left for work at Crane Industries in the morning. He kissed me goodbye. He told me he loved me and I never saw him again. No one did. He didn't even report to work. Luis, didn't you try to find him when you became a cop? Yeah. I questioned workers at Crane Industries. I even questioned some executives. No one knew anything. The Cranes destroy anyone they come in contact with. I won't let them hurt anyone else in this family. You shouldn't be so critical of the Cranes, Luis. They've been very nice to me. You've earned every measly cent they've paid you. Mrs. Crane is very generous. I consider her a friend. I have news, Mama. She only considers you a servant. That's not true. You don't even know her. I know the Cranes, and they've caused nothing but disaster for this family. The sooner we cut all ties with them, the better. And the fastest way we can do that is for you to divorce your husband so we can refinance the house and you can save money every month. I don't want to discuss it. Mama. You have to face reality. Papa is not coming back. Don't say that. Luis, enough. You're upsetting Mama. She has to make a decision on this. She doesn't have to make it tonight. Mama? Luis. Luis, you've got to get over this fixation with the cranes. Not after what they did. Uh, there's no proof they had anything to do with Papa disappearing. I don't care. That family has caused nothing but trouble for this family. The sooner we're rid of them, the happier I'll be. So Teresa better get any fixation about her and Ethan Crane getting together out of her head. Hey, I'm going to the store to get Mama some ice cream. You want to come? Nah. I don't think I'd be good company. I know what's got you into this mood. It's that run-in you had with Ethan Crane on the beach this morning. You're right. Seeing Crane got me thinking about Mom slaving away as their housekeeper. And the day Dad disappeared when he went to go to work for them? You know, it's weird how our families have nothing in common, but we always seem to cross paths. And it always seems to end up in disaster for our family. One day I'll get us away from them for good. What the hell are you doing, doing here? I live here. You're related to Pilar? I'm her son. Why are you here? To hassle my mother because she didn't pick up your socks? No, I happen to like your mother very much. It's just unfortunate her son's such a jerk. Please, no. Mama's inside. You don't want to upset her anymore. You need to tell Pilar something. You can tell it to me. Fine. Tell her I haven't heard any news about Sheridan. I'll know more tomorrow. Okay. Beat it. Mama, I got a message for you. There won't be any news on Sheridan Crane till tomorrow. How do you know about Sheridan? Ethan told him just now. Ethan Crane was here? At her house? Break! You still got five miles yet, little brother. You're running like this demon's chasing you, Louise. And I know their name. It's Crane. 
You're worried about Teresa's dream, aren't you? The one where Ethan Crane shows up at our doorstep and changes her life. Teresa's dreams are just that. Dreams. They're not gonna come true, Miguel. That one did. Ethan Crane did show up at our house last night. And it's got you spooked, hasn't it? I got time for this nonsense. I never thought I'd see the day you'd believe one of Teresa's dreams. I know. You've been in a foul mood ever since Ethan Crane showed up at the house last night. Just like in Teresa's dream. What are you afraid of? That her and Ethan are gonna get together? How? Where? At the country club? Some fancy party at the Crane Mansion? Oh, right. Like our family gets so many invitations to go hang out with the Cranes. The only reason they even let Mom in the door is because she's their housekeeper. Imagine the look on old man Crane's face if he found out his son was going out with his housekeeper's daughter. Julian? Man, you blow a gasket. But it ain't gonna happen. So lighten up, all right? Your hatred for the Cranes is making you paranoid. Uh, they use Mama, take advantage of her. I'm sure they had something to do with Papa disappearing. You don't know that, Luis. I'll tell you what I do know. Trouble happens every time a crane comes near somebody in our family. Well, Ethan Crane isn't going to come near our sister. He doesn't even know she exists. 